Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to exclusively apply group policy firewall rules in Windows Server 2019. In the last video, we have created a remote desktop predefined rules using group policy. Let me show you that. We have created this GPO named predefined firewall rule GPO and we have linked that GPO to our TS2. Under TS2U, we have stored the computer account of our memory server WS2K19-SRV01. Uh, let me show you the policy which we have configured. Let's right click on that GPO, predefined firewall rule GPO and select edit. Uh, under computer configuration, I'm going to expand policies. I'm going to expand Windows settings. Then I'm going to expand security settings. Click on Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. Expand it and expand Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security again. And then after I'm going to click on Inbound Rules. As we can see, three predefined remote desktop rules are listed under Inbound Rules, which we have created in the last video. Uh, let's double click on this existing rule. Click on Scope. And here we have defined the one more condition that remote IP should be only from this IP address range which is 172.18.72.12 172.18.72.10 So this is the condition which we have specified in this rule. So this is the rule which we have created using a group policy. Now I'm going to close it. And now let's go to member server to check the firewall rule. Uh, this is our member server. Let me show you that. WS2K19-SRV01. We have also updated the group policy using command gp update slash force and the policy is successfully applying on this uh, member server. This is the rule which we have created using group policy. Fine. In the predefined rules which we have created using group policy, we have specified the condition that only computer with the IP address from the range 172.18.72.1 to 172.18.72.10 can connect to this server using a remote desktop. So let me enable the remote desktop on this server. And for that, I'm going back on a server manager. Under remote desktop, as you can see, it is disabled. So I'm going to click on it. On remote tab, I'm going to select the radio button allow remote connection to this server and when I select this radio button it will gives me a one another window saying that remote desktop firewall exception will be added automatically. Click OK, click apply and click OK. Let me refresh it. We can confirm that now remote desktop is successfully enabled on our member server. Now let's go back to the firewall console. Uh, click on inbound rules and I'm going to refresh it. Let's again find those rules. And this time here we can see we have total six rules. Two for remote desktop shadow TCP in, two for remote desktop user mode and two for remote desktop user mode UDPN. But problem is here. These are the rule which we have created using group policy. And these are created automatically when we enable remote desktop on a local server. So three rules from local computer and three rules are coming from the group policy. This means local administrator can also create rules on Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security. In the group policy predefined rule, we have specified the condition that only IP address from the range 172.18.72.12 172.1872.10 is able to connect to the server using RDP. So we want to check which rule is taking precedence. Group policy rule in that we haven't defined any condition for remote addresses and the rule which we have created using group policy in that we have defined the condition that the IP address should be 72.1272.10. Now to check this, let's go to Windows 10 virtual machine. Uh, let me show you the IP address of this uh, virtual machine. As you can see, the IP address is 172.18.72.15. Uh, 
according to the firewall rule which we have created using group policy this pc is not able to connect to the member server using rdp because its ip address is 72.15 and we have only allowed the ip address from 72.1 to 72.10 now let's check that for that on client machine i'm going to press windows rk combination and type mstsc to open remote desktop client press enter key and here we need to specify the ip address of the member server which is 172.18.72.6 let me again check that okay it is 6 let's click on connect and as we can see this computer is able to connect to the member server using rdp that means local group policy rules are taking a precedence so group policy rules are not applying on our member server due to local firewall rules uh, let me cancel it first let's close it if you don't want the local administrator to be able to apply additional firewall rules to the network then you can also configure it so that the group policy rules are exclusively applied to the local firewall and that we want to see in this video so let's go to our domain controller to modify group policy object again i'm going to edit this group policy object so let's select predefined firewall rule gpo right click on it and select add it under computer configuration i'm going to expand policies expand windows settings and then expand security settings under security settings i'm going to expand windows defender firewall with advanced security again click on windows defender firewall with advanced security and right click here go for the properties under settings we need to click on a customize here it is mentioned that specify settings that control windows defender firewall behavior click on customize under rule merging here we can see allows rule created by local administrator to be merged with rules distributed through group policy these settings can only be applied by using group policy and apply local firewall rules it is not configured so i'm going to click on this drop down button and i'm going to select no we don't want to apply local firewall rule now we simply need to click on okay click okay and close group policy editor console let's go back to the member server go to the command prompt and update the group policy running command gp updates slash force again i'm going to run that command gp updates slash force so i want to make sure that group policy has updated uh, successfully okay now i'm going to open firewall.cpl console Here you can see the message for security some settings are managed by your administrator now here i'm going to click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall and this time under allow program as you can see domain column is now totally gray out and no rules can be applied to the domain profile even if you are local administrator you can see that now let me show you the rule about that remote desktop as well here as you can see this rule is totally gray out because this rule is coming from that uh, group policy fine you can see it is under group policy it is yes and this is the local one fine uh, let me show you that a windows defender firewall with advanced security console as well i'm going to click on inbound rules let's refresh it and let's find that rule again here we can see those rules are still there fine but we have configured that settings to apply group policy exclusively on a windows firewall so again i want to test whether we can take remote desktop from our windows 10 computer or not again i want to remind you that this rule is only applicable from the ip address 172.18.72.1 to 172.18.72.10 the local rule says anyone can connect to that remote server so now let's take which policy is taking a precedence let's again go back to the windows 10 computer 
This computer has an IP address 172.18.72.15. And according to our rule, this computer shouldn't be able to connect to the remote desktop. Let's enter the IP address of our member server 172.18.72.6 and press enter key. And this time, as you can see, it is saying initiating remote connection. This time, this Windows and computer is not able to connect to the member server because it has the IP address 172.18.72.15. And according to that firewall rule, this computer shouldn't be able to connect to that remote desktop server. We also want to make sure that uh, from our domain controller, which has the IP address 172.18.72.5 can connect to the member server using RDP. Let's press Windows R key combination, type MSTSC, press enter key, enter the IP address of our member server, which is 172.18.72.6 and press enter key. And here, this computer can connect to the remote desktop. Why? Because in that condition, we have specified that any IP address coming from the IP address range 172.18.72.1 to 172.18.72.10 can connect to this a remote desktop. Let me cancel it and uh, let's close it. So now we can confirm that the rules which we have created using group policy are taking precedence over local firewall rule. That concludes the video on how to exclusively apply group policy firewall rules in Windows Server 2019. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.